In this video, I will show you how to fix GTA 5 Online being stuck on the loading screen. We will be covering multiple methods from which a few will apply to any platform that you are playing from and a couple of methods will only apply to PC. So make sure to stick around and see what works for you. For the first method, try checking your internet connection. If you're watching this video on the same device that you're trying to connect to GTA Online from, that means that your internet connection is fine. But if you are not, try opening a browser on said device just to make sure. If this didn't help you resolve your issue, move on to the next method. First, try loading into single player mode from this screen right here. Press story mode and now let's jump into it. Then, after you join single player, press the escape or start button and go over to the online tab. Then go over to play GTA Online and select this option. Then select the go option. Then press the OK button and now try joining GTA Online this way. If you're still experiencing issues while trying to join GTA Online, move on to the next method. Let's try restarting your device. There could be an issue with your system which could be solved with a quick restart. Then try getting into GTA Online again. If the issue persists, you can always go over to the next method. The next two methods will only apply to PC users. So if you're a console user, you can skip to the last method. First off, let's try pausing the GTA 5 processes in your task manager while you're in the loading screen of GTA 5. First off, minimize the game. Then go to the bottom left of your screen and press the search button and in here write task manager. Then open up the application at the top. Once you open up the application, go over to the performance tab right here and press the open resource monitor button right here. Then once this opens up, go over to the CPU tab and you should find GTA5.exe right here. Right click it and press suspend process, then press suspend process once again. After you do that, wait for about 5 to 10 seconds. Now that 5 to 10 seconds have passed, Right click the GTA5.exe once again and press resume process. Then press resume process once again. And now you can open up the minimized GTA5 from your taskbar right here. And then you will be redirected to a new session. If this didn't resolve your issue, you can try the second PC method, which is verifying the game files. This process basically double checks all of your game files searching for corrupt files, and if there are some, it will automatically repair them. To do that, if you're using Steam, go over to your library, then find GTA 5, let's say this is GTA 5 for example, right click it, then press properties, then go over to installed files, and then press the verify integrity of game files button. If you're using the Epic Games Launcher, go over to your library, then scroll down and find GTA 5, press the three dots next to it, then press the Manage button, and right here under Verify Files, press the Verify button. Now last but not least, if you're using the Rockstar Games Launcher, you can go over to the Settings tab in the top right, and right here you should see GTA 5, select that, and then on the right you will be able to see a verify button appear. If these methods didn't work for you, you can go over to the last method which applies to all platforms. For the last method you can try reinstalling the game. There might be something wrong within the initial installation and this should fix your issue. I hope we helped, that is it for this video, thank you for watching, see you in the next one.